What's good, guys? It's your boy Blaze. Um, it's currently 6 a.m. right now. I should maybe not be recording, but I wanted to get this quick. I have so much stuff on my mind that I want to get through, so I'm really tired. I'm really sleepy, but let's just get through this. Team Builder for TAO Offseason Week 2. I'm very excited for this battle. I think he's going to be hype because, as you can see, right, if we go in here, as you can see, it's we, we got the burb, and I'll explain this in a minute, right? But it's basically, he has the Politoed, I have the Pelipper. So it's Rain V Rain, right? So, uh, I made a live team builder an hour long. I have it in the back. Uh, it takes a very long time to upload, so instead of doing that, I'm going to do the more boring variant for the sake of not driving me insane and, and, and yeah, getting through so I can actually move on with stuff. So, uh, my point was like, there you got to see every inch of the way that I thought out the battle, right? So, uh, you know, uh, every every step of the way, every step through the process, you got to see everything. So I really wanted to upload that, upload that, but it takes so incredibly long to do that. So instead, we're doing this, right? Looking at his team, he has a scarier rain team than I do. The, the only Pokemon I have that really benefits from rain is Zib Striker with Thunder, Pulper with Hurricane, and Seismitoad with Swift Swim, right? Because I didn't really hard tunnel into rain team. But he did. As you can see, he has the Ludi and he has the Kabutops. So maybe, maybe, um, uh, I, I would say he has like two Swiss swimmers, right? So his team is more centered around the rain than mine is. And Ludi, I don't know about you, but Ludi Colo in rain is really, really, really scary. Because as you know, my team doesn't deal well with grass types due to Rhydon and Sidemen Hole, which I'm bringing, I'm bringing both of them. I'm bringing both of them. I'm bringing Rindoberry for the Ludi so I can tank like an Energy Ball or Giga Drain like once and hit it with a Poison Jab for half, half its health. So that's my kind of plan. I have to, my game plan is get rid of the Registeel somehow, chip down the Ludi, and then we essentially have the upper hand. It's no win guaranteed because he has so much against my team that uh, that really screams like danger, danger. So uh, what I would expect him to bring is something like Registeel for sure, Politoed for sure, Ludi Kabutops, and then maybe like Murkrow or Drapion or Hitmonlee or some. I don't think he's bringing Tora Cat. He may. He might bring Electrode, but I have two ground ground types, so I don't really think he's going to do, do that. I took off my Metang last. I, I really stumbled with how to use Metang on this, so I took it off. I feel like I didn't really need the Steel after all. As you can see, Steel hits nothing for super effective, so it didn't do that right. And his Ludicolo just runs house on my entire team. So, uh, my point was, uh, if I bring Drizzle on Pelipper, I basically put myself at a disadvantage because I set set up Rain for him, and he has the scarier Rain team. So, uh, essentially, if I bring Rain, I he needs to bring Rain to have the upper hand on me, right? So he brings Drizzle Polito no matter what. Uh, but I can't bring Drizzle because that would only set up the rain for him more and Since he's scarier than rain in rain than what I am. I need to play around his rain instead of Making his rain team stronger. You feel me? So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm doing also no webcam by the way It's very late. So you'll have to excuse me for this week. Uh, we'll try to get back on it later uh, Week three might be a little late. I'm going on vacation. So we'll see about that, but you know We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. So, uh, yes, I brought Max Attack, Earth uh, Poison Jab for Ludi, Earthquake for Registeel, 
Skull to burn er essentially everything. You see how minus special attack because I don't really care about doing damage with Skull. I just want the burns because he's mostly physical. If I can burn the Kabuchops or something, it would be huge. And Stealth Rocks for decent, uh, for, you know, Stealth Rock is huge. Stealth Rock is, is nice for Chip. So my, my game plan is basically his win con, I think, is a Kabutops or Ludi or both. One of them or both, right? So I need to I need to play around that. But my win con is after Registeel goes down, this thing just sweeps. This thing just absolutely wrecks him. If he does not rain up, I outspeed everything. And uh, if I'm if I have one quiver dance up, I outspeed everything in rain. Essentially. I outspeed everything in rain, and I one-shot everything. One or two shots, uh, everything. Everything that resists is a two, or I think like it's a two-shot on Drapion with Moonblast. Maybe assault this, uh, assault this Dragon for sure. It's a, it's a two EKO, a plus one, uh, something like that. I, I don't remember the calc specifically, but I I'm, I can't be bothered right now. So, but like I know Energy Ball just kills Kabutops. I know Energy Ball just solid amount of to Polito. I know if it's not Assault Vest and Moonblast just obliterates Trapion, obliterates Hitmonlee. So this is sweet material, straight up sweet material. I'm also bringing Ferium Z Moonblast just so I can one-shot something. Uh, probably the probably the Drapion or Hitmonlee, depending. Hitmonlee might be Focus Ash with Unburden. It might be Fake Out Unburden, so I have to be careful. Uh, for, yeah, Fake Out Normal Gem Unburden, then Standard Set. So I, I, I need to be careful of that. Because uh, Rhydon is also one of my win cons. It's my secondary win con. This is my absolutely first win con, win con right? Because uh, it just destroys everything. It destroys the bug buzz behind subs. It does massive damage to Ludicolo with bug buzz and stuff like that and so on. As I explained, right? So that's cool. Uh, but then we have this. This is uh, what helps my Rubombi sweeping. That's my entire plan. It's use Rhydon to, to get a hold, to grab a hold of Registeel, take it down, and then allow, uh, or, or the, the rest of my team is just to chip down uh, Ludi uh, and Kabutops. That's entire. That's my entire plan with the rest of the team. So I have three Pokemon dedicated to be sacked off after chipping Ludi and Kabutops. So Gumball can come in and sweep last minute. So that's kind of my plan. It's very, it's very cheap. I know it's very cheap, but I, I have, I have faith in this because I know that Rubombi just. Destroys everything. If he brings like Focus Sash Kabutops, that might be really, really scary with Aqua Jet and stuff. So I don't really know what kind of Kabutops set is running. He's probably running like Life Orb or maybe like even Choice Bandit or something like Expert Bell or something like that. So I think he's going to run like something damage increase because he knows once he has Rain Up, he outspeeds everything and he hits incredibly hard. If he gets a Sword Stance up, it's basically GG. So can't let that happen. Yeah, so the way I'm playing around Rain this week is I'm not bringing Swift Swim. I'm bringing Water Absorb to completely negate uh, both halves of his scary core. Because Ludi, uh, Ludi is scary because it's, it's a combined combination of grass water. If I take out the water typing, it makes him much less scarier. Because his rain, his water moves gets boosted in Rain, which also mine does, right? I still, If Rain's still up... I tank his water moves if he somehow, some way decides to go for water instead of grass. I tank that with water absorb, gives me recovery, and I can go for poison jabs all day. So that's kind of my thought process behind that. I remove I remove his polydot completely with water absorb. I think I he, he might run like I don't know, does it get energy ball or something like that? He has to run some some weird shit to to play around my to play around my uh Polydo. Uh, no, not Polydo. What am I saying? Uh, Seismitoad. So, I'm bringing Rindo to just chip down the Ludi. This is also like a secondary sack, kind of. I don't really care too much if this goes down. If I can get some chip off on Registeel with this, it's also pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, with the ride on though, I designed it specifically to two hit KO the Registeel. It is de specifically designed to two hit KO uh, Registeel. Because I'm a very afraid of a curse set. I'm very, very afraid of a curse set with Registeel. So, like, if he starts cursing, we might have a problem, right? That's why I have a roar, and I can curse alongside him, and Earthquake just two shots him. Earthquake two shots him. From, like, 
I, I think a two shots fully defensive, Regi Steel, like 248, 252 bold, or not bold, but impish or something like that. Yeah. So I think Earthquake just one shots that. Megahorn destroys Ludicolo if he ever tries to switch that in. Uh, I guess Megahorn just destroys Murkrow. Uh, also does solid damage to anything that wants to switch in because Drapion doesn't resist it. Heimali resists it, but he, he does not take an Earthquake very well. And since I have, like, since I have de defense with Eviolite, I can also tank everything that hit my lead does and I can hit it back with an earthquake and kill it. So if that if it if worst comes to worst if Registeel is down and it's it's I have full HP or something like that, I can maybe I, I wouldn't want to use my right on like that, but if I'm forced into the situation I feel like I have to. So I I'm pretty sure Earthquake just wants us it. If he doesn't have focus sash then he kills me, which is pretty unfortunate. But at least we get rid of that, right? So uh, that's kind of my plan with this. 252 in defense for to tank, uh, like uh, essentially everything that isn't physical, right? Like, yeah. I mean, like I, I think I'm tanking. I think I tank like uh, weak water moves, maybe a skull if it's not a rain or something like that. But I just went 252 to to, to be able to tank special hits because this is a monster. Because he's he this thing is dropping. This thing is dropping if it gets hit by, a hit by a special attack, and I don't have max special defense. So, I would rather just want that. Okay, next Pokemon. We have Poopy Air, the Clefairy. I'm pretty sure I brought, I brought this in week one as well. Um, this is almost the same set. It's just a little tweak on it. So, uh, we, have, we don't have Healing Wish this time, and we have Protect. So the thought, the thought process behind that is basically he doesn't have a cleric. He does not have a cleric at all. So anything I thunder wave, it stays thunder waved. So that's really huge on me. Uh, same goes for me, uh, really, since I don't have any heal builder myself, so I have to be careful about that. But I do have magic card. So if he wants to toxic me, I just switch into this with no repercussions at all. Because I don't take toxic damage. I can't get stalled. And I have wish to heal up my other members if something goes wrong. If I like, as I as I told you, if I if I screw up with the right eye, or if I if I screw up with my wing con, which is Rebombi takes 25% from rocks, which is very scary. God damn! I think even I think even Energy Ball and Gumball, especially after plus one, it's guaranteed. But I think even without it, I think Energy Ball kills a Kabutops even with Rainbow Berry. I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on this, but I think so. You can count that for yourself. I don't really know. All I know is I outspeed it in rain if I'm at plus one, which is huge. So, yeah, that's kind of what this thing is for. I protect this for high jump kick on Hit Molly. If he predicts my switch, I just, or, or it's also to wish stall, or it also to wish myself back up. So, uh, like, I can wish, protect, get the health back, or I can wish, switch out, get the health back, or I can protect if I know he, if he thinks I'm going into ride on, for example, or something stupid. I, I have protect for the hit, for the high jump kick, and for the mostly for the wish stuff. So that's kind of why I did it. Um, so yeah, I really hope it's not Curse Registeel because Curse Registeel, uh, I'm looking at it right now, and I, I it does so solid work. Because when it outspeeds me, I mean, Steel isn't the thing that hits me the hardest, but it, it definitely takes care of my frail side. So it, it would be huge for him to bring that. Also, AV Drapion is giving me some problems, but that's why I have. This thing right here, which I'm pretty sure just one shots, and this may be one shots. I think it may be two shots since I'm not adamant. So I just wanted to tank energy ball comfortably well. So that's why I have like plus special defense nature. So yeah. And then we have this thing, right? We have this thing right here. This is for the Kabu Dobbs. Uh Scald, hope for burns. Uh Charity Berry if I if it's like if it's down to the wire, right, and he thinks he has me, if like Pelipper it comes down to being my last Pokemon or something, I can live a Stone Edge with the Charty Berry, and I can kill him with Scald and Rain. If Scald burns, I think it just kills from full HP. So that's my thing. I didn't run Surf, cause I mean I could run Surf, but if it's not on Combo Tops, I'd rather want this the the burn chance. So yeah. We're also bringing Rain Dish, which is pretty cool. Uh, as, I'm, as I talked about, trying to pivot around the Rain strategy. So instead of bringing Drizzle, we're bringing Rain Dish. We're taking full advantage of his Rain, because I know he brings Rain. 
So I just want to be... It's, it's basically a free leftovers plus berry. So it's very cool. I hope to get to showcase that. It's, I think he's going to be impressed when he sees that. I don't know for sure though. I have a Roosters Wall just in case the uh, rain dish isn't enough. And I have Defog for like I know his Hitmonlee gets rocks, his Registeel gets rocks, his Kabutops gets rocks. And that's pretty much it. So he probably brings like rocks Hitmonlee. I'm very surprised actually if he brings rocks Registeel because like he doesn't need Registeel to be defensive this week. He can run he has the luxury of running offensive Registeel in my opinion, but you know he might as well if he, I don't know he there's a there's like 60 40 in my mind 60 curse set 40 into a regular set because he has so much offense with all the all the rest that, that he probably feels uncomfortable with bringing just frail like or if Registeel isn't frail but if he brings the regular like what is it toxic stealth rock iron head and then uh, something last move. I, I, I haven't used the register still enough to know, but you know, that's how it goes. So, but I really feel like he could do well with a curse set this week. So I have prepared for both uh, in hopes that it goes well. Uh, yeah, I, I really hope he doesn't bring Electrode, but he, I have two ground types, so I'm not too worried. Because Electrode outspeeds everything. Not uh, It does not outspeed the Rebombi at plus one. So that's cool. Because I know he's, he isn't bringing Choice Car Electrode. There's no way. There's no way. Cause, but, but yeah, he probably doesn't expect... He probably expects me to bring Drizzle. So maybe he brings like an Electro with Thunder or something. Thunder, Hidden Power, or Grass, something like that. But that's also why I have Hidden Berry just for any Hidden Power Grass things that want to try to be cheeky. I also know Kabutops gets a Key Drain, but it has 40 special attacks. So I really don't think Key Drain is, is maybe doing like 40% or something like that. So, yeah. I don't know. But all I know is Skull does major damage. Skull does major damage in rain. And it has the chest of But I would just hit. I'm sorry. I would just hit Earthquake in that scenario. So, I'm very excited for this battle. It's Rain v. Rain. You never know what's going to happen, but it's not Rain v. Rain. It's Rain versus me trying to outplay the Rain. <laughs> that's, that's kind of... Yeah. So I, I was kind of afraid in the draft. That's kind of why I drafted Seismito. I wanted a Rain team that is able to play well against other weather types. That's why I brought, and that's why I, I, I like prioritize Seismitoad as my first pick because I know that n I knew that kind of none of the, uh, none of the peeps were going to take it, but but it's like no nobody really knows how much it can do. Uh, I've also seen Joey do some work with it and was in the P four G I think, which also was a tier three and below so. Shoutouts to, to Young Aim but for giving me some inspiration in the future weeks. So we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Not net. I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure what I'm bringing, but I'll have to see the matchup and kind of explain everything. But I hope you're ex as excited as I am. It's going to be a fun battle either way. Uh, and I, I look forward to facing Devil. It's going to be fun. So... Uh, I really hope you stick around for that. Thank you so much for dealing with this this week, dealing with me this week, sticking around. Hope to see you in the battle. Without further ado, I'm out. I'm going to hop in bed, and I'll see you when the battle comes around. All right, have a nice day. Bye.